Hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, we are going to chat about a brand new article that Warhammer Community just posted up about Black Talon. That is right, Neve Black Talon has a brand new miniature coming for Warhammer Age of Sigma, and she is not alone. More so than that, I want to talk while we take a look through at the amazing miniatures this article is going to show. Um, I want to take a little chat about how important these characters are coming from these other parts of the Warhammer sort of universe and, you know, the narrative and the lore and the, the TV shows, the novels and stuff, and really how these characters are the ones that are really, truly going to drive the narrative forward. And... Today's video is brought to you by Gap Games, a fantastic retailer in Australia for a variety of different miniature war games. If you'd like to help support the channel, we have an affiliate link where by clicking on and purchasing, you'll help support the channel, but you'll also help support Gap Games, which is a fantastic servant to the community. And so with that, Let's talk about Neve Black Talon and her brand new friends. So this is Neve Black Talon's brand new model here down the bottom left. We have all of her friends coming out um, that are the members of the Black Talons, which are a group of Stormcast. They're little assassins aimed to target really strong sort of opposing figures in the mortal realms. Uh, so this is really, really cool. Um, these are from the... Warhammer Plus TV series that we have, which has just been absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked out Black Talon, go check Black Talon out. Um, this alone was well worth at least a month's subscription to me, uh, going and checking all of it out. Absolutely love this series. And so, with this, like we get a brand new called Neve Black Talon model. She's also got a helmeted version, which is really nice. Um, you can see the Neve there. She looks really cool. She's got that nice sort of chiseled face that she does have uh we then have her mentor which is hendrick the silver wolf um his name might suggest is he's got the nice gray beard um, i love the helmet on him as well he's got that awesome helmet um and so he is you know really sort of the one in true command of the group and he's sort of the old sort of wolf leading everyone we then have the Shikana Golden Blade, which is an Eagle Dye Sharpshooter, a Castigator. Uh, she's really cool. Uh, and so she's got a little Star Eagle, Ander, as well, which is her faithful companion. Uh, and then we have, of course, one of my favorite ones, which is Rostin Oxenhammer, uh, a nice grand hammer wielding, effectively an Annihilator, you would say. And then lastly, we have Laura, uh, the Child of the Abyss, their sort of ally that is an Ideneth Deepkin Witch, a Soul Scry that's able to sort of teleport them throughout the battlefields of the Age of Sigma. But while we're looking at all these amazing miniatures that are here, like I think this is just an amazing, amazing set of minis, um, I do want to talk a little bit about how important these things are because. We have times where we just get brand new characters in a book for no reason, and it's really hard to want to follow that character. Um, I look at things like Aventus Firestrike, uh, or characters that are just randomly added out of nowhere, uh, with no sort of pre-planning, they haven't got any existing lore, and sometimes these need to be added for the start of the book to give someone. Um, so definitely, you know, I when the... Uh, Lumineth first rocked up, Uriel Lenius, uh, and all of that, the twins, uh, they definitely needed to exist, but when we got, like, the Stormcast, I think it was the third book, when we got, like, Aventus Firestrike and Asteria Soulbright, I had no reason to care, because at that point, I'd read so much Age of Sigmar lore, uh, that I knew, you know, people like Garda, Steel Soul, Thostis, um, existed, you know, and obviously, I'd been reading about Vandus, who was in the book at the time, but we didn't get anyone like that. We got these other characters that didn't have any story, any narrative that I've been reading about, that we've been following to sort of connect with. And it's like, well, why haven't we gone with the characters that have been built in this? And so when we finally got Gardas, I thought it was a massive, massive thing for Warhammer Age of Sigma to get Gardas. More so than like Gotrek, because Gotrek existed before Age of Sigma, I think having Gardas, this character that has been built up throughout, you know, Age of Sigma's history has been really great. 
And we've seen a few more of these come from the narrative. Uh, the Lady of Vines existed in the Realm Gate Wars. She actually worked alongside, funnily enough, uh, Lord Karras Grimm, who is Vandus, uh, not Vandus, Garda Steel Souls, Lord Castellan, to effectively awaken Alariel. We also had Brod as well, which was mentioned in those first Realm Gate War books. So really cool to see those characters coming to life and using that lore they've already built there. But Black Talon is very much like Gardas, where Gardas has this incredible set of stories that have built him up as a character. And new Black Talon notes, she's had her own book as well. Black Talon First Mark is an excellent story by Andy Clark. I would recommend it to anyone. Uh, but also, you know, the TV series where we've built her up as a character, and I really do hope that we see more of these, you know, I want to see a Callus and Toll miniature, I want to see miniatures of some of the characters we've had in stories, uh, you know, like the Vulture Lord for the Ossiarch Bone Reapers, and other characters like that, that we've got, you know, these multiple series of, I think, are really, really important to bring some true connection with that whole spectrum of what the Warhammer hobby is. But with that said, um, I'd like to leave a question here for everyone. If you were to see any character from the lore, whether that be Black Library Fiction or Warhammer Plus uh, TV series, whatever, what characters would you like to see? What characters do you think deserve their time in the limelight? And why is that character Arika Zenth, uh, the pirate queen that has my heart? Um, but seriously, which ones would you like to see? Let us know down in the comments below. And so that is the end of the video. We hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to come chat more with me, a number of members of our great little community we have here at Sinful Gaming, we have a Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description. Also linked down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel, be that via Patreon or YouTube members, or by grabbing yourself some merch, whether that's stickers, t-shirt, mugs, or anything from our Teespring store as well, or by using our affiliate links, which are also linked down in the description as well, that go a long way to helping support the channel. As a special thank you to all our Patreons and YouTube members, we'd like to give you all a shout out. So thank you to Andy C, Grimskald, Colorblind Magic, Iron Grinch, Benjamin Swallows, James Cater, Mark Harvey, Domir, Average Wargamer, JJ Austrian, Cure Dynamic, Andrew Bowen, Older and Shot First, Kendy Lowell, Soren, Green Roots Gaming, Ronya, Lock Loric, The Johnny 84, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Monty Stable Top Terrain, James Tillman, Disco, John Castle, and Gargamel196. Thank you all so much for helping support the channel. It means the absolute world to us. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, everyone, stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.